right, we are moving right along with the sew along today. We are going to be focusing on the collar assembly. We're going to finish most of the collar assembly. Some of it has to wait for the facing, but um, we're going to do a lot of the collar assembly today. This is one of the steps where you're going to want to really take your time and be super accurate. So take a deep breath, take breaks when you need them, <laughs> and let's get started making this collar. And you are going to have two collar pieces. You have F and G. Uh, G is the one that got interfaced. And G is the one that I am going to use to mark um, these seam allowances because the 3 8 inch seam allowance is so important for the collar, not only the stopping and starting point, but also the pivot um, point. And I'm going to be marking on the interfaced side, mostly because it's just super easy to see on the white interfacing. And just trying to make my life easier. Okay, so we're going to do 3 8 inch seam allowances. I'm going to get my handy dandy 5 8 inch ruler and we're going to mark all of the not the whole seam allowance we're going to mark the stopping and starting point here and we're going to mark our pivot points so now i know to stop and start here or i know to start here pivot here come all the way around we're going to pivot on the other side too Okay, now F is going, the uninterfaced one, F, because you see how G has main and interfacing and F does not. It only has main fabric. That's how we know. F is the one that is going to get turned up um, by three-eighths of an inch along this bottom edge so that it can get sewn to the dress. So anytime I'm turning up something and pressing it, I double the amount that needs to be turned up. So three eighths times two is six eighths, which is also three quarters. So if I mark like this, and then I turn it up to meet that marking point, then I know um, that I'm getting an accurate mark. If I mark at the three eighths, and then I turn up, then it's like, wait a minute, I don't know if that's you know, I can't see my marking. And I don't want to mark on the right side of the fabric. Because, um, you know, that's the pretty part. Okay, so just going to mark a few places along here. And I'm going to go ahead and press it up now just because it is a little bit easier. Okay, so now that I have both of those prepped, they go right sides together. So this one gets turned this way. This one goes on top like this. And then, like I said, we're just going to sew around these raw edges, starting at the 3 8 point here, pivoting here, coming all the way around, pivoting here, and then back down again. Okay, so... Off camera, I also trimmed and graded the seam allowances. All that means is I took the seam allowances, cut off half of them, and then took the interfaced uh, seam allowance and cut that in half again so that you get the, uh, I guess technically piece F is peeking out a little bit below piece G. Okay, piece G ends up being the graded one. Okay, so now this all gets turned right side out and you're going to want to take a point turner of some kind to help you get your corners nice and crisp okay so now we are going to pin the right side of the interfaced collar to the right side of the dress at the neckline so we have the interfaced piece here right we've got our center back here. We're going to match those up. The circles on the under collar, I just notched them because I don't know. I knew that they were going to be shoulder seams and I didn't technically need to like put a whole circle there, but I just know that the seam allowance at this area is going to go right on the shoulder seam. Shoulders get pressed toward the back. And then these notches on the neckline is where the edge of the collar goes. And 
and just being super accurate here is the best way you're going to get a really pretty collar. Okay, so all of that goes in. You're going to run it through your sewing machine at the 3 8 inch seam allowance for the collar. Okay, at this point, you want to see how you did. Make sure you didn't get any wrinkles or bubbles. Oof, very, very small baby one there that might come out with the iron. Do y'all see that little baby one there? Okay, so now she's perfect. When you go and press that, all of that will will go away. Okay, great. Okay, so the next step for the collar is at the dots, aka the shoulder seams. We are going to trim um, up to the seam line, but not through it. You're going to be super, super careful. You can get like extra sharp scissors um, that are super sharp to the point, but just through the collar piece. Okay, now we are going to trim and grade this seam as well. All right, last step for the collar for now is to go to your iron and press the seam allowances between the shoulder seams up toward the collar because the plan is we're going to go like this later on so you want to make sure that this is all pressed up this is going to end up in the facing which we are going to work on in the next video so take your time with the collar really you know make sure you're being super accurate and you will have a beautiful result um, with your collar